viewers from Africa. This is the UG Way Channel 1 Weather Channel. And sadly, we did not have a proper intro filmed, so I am here in the house of Patarax to create an intro. Um, so, we will go to James with the weather next, and just letting you guys know that we're gonna have a very sad story with Anthony Bagnoli about the Ugandan Knuckles attack massacre that recently happened. Go to, we're going to James. Thank you, Patrick. This week seems to be cold with a week high of 38 degrees and a low of 6. Monday temperature will be a high of 25 and a low of 9 with potential for snow and humidity for 74% um, and wind speeds of about 10 miles per hour with snow and overcast. The pressure will be 30.2 weight and the dew point will be 17 degrees with a warm air front. Galena temperature will be about a high of 28 and a low of 6, very similar to Westerville with a high of 29 and a low of 7. Sunberg and Powell have a high of 28 and a low of 6. This sets up a cold week with some snow. Tuesday is a little colder with a high of 17 and a low of 10 with 11 miles per hour of wind and a 52% chance of snow and again humidity is 67% with an increase of pressure with 30.47, a dew point of 4 degrees, and a warm air front. Wednesday, the temperature will still be cold, with a high of 21 and a low of 6, with winds of about 10 miles per hour with humidity of 83%. No snow with clouds, and it will feel like it's 3 degrees. Also, there will be a decrease in pressure with 20.48 and a dew point of 10, and again, a warm air front. Thursday will bring a high of 26 and a low of 14. <laughs> With wind speeds of 8 miles and 33% of snow, with humidity of 83%. There will be an increase in pressures, which is 30.37 inches, a dew point of 11 degrees, and warm air fronts. The afternoon will bring clouds and light snow. The uh, Friday will bring a high of 38 and a low of 24, with wind speeds of 11 miles per hour, with a 43% chance of snow, with humidity of 92% with a small decrease in pressures, which is 30.19 inches, a dew point of 11 degrees, and warm air front. Now we will be going to Patrick for the real feel. It was dead. Ah! Thanks, James. On Monday, the sun will rise at 7.53 a.m. and the sun will set at 5.30 p.m. The real feel is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. On Tuesday, the sun will rise at 7.52 a.m. and the sun will set at 5.31 p.m. The real feel is 4, 4 degrees Fahrenheit. On Wednesday, the sun will rise at 7.55 a.m. and the sun will set at 5.34 p.m. The real feel is 4 degrees Fahrenheit. On Thursday, the sun will set at 7.51 a.m. and the sun will set at 5.33 p.m. The real feel is 15 degrees Fahrenheit. On Friday, the sun will rise at 7.52 a.m. and the sun will set at 5.30 p.m. The real feel will be 28 degrees Fahrenheit. And so now we're going to go to our story, the survivor of the Ugandan Knuckles Massacre, and now he will tell us what happened there. Hey, what's up, guys? Scares here. Here we're with Anthony, a survivor of the Ugandan Knuckles Crisis massacre over 10 billion killed anthony would you like to say a couple words well it was a normal day in africa ohio louder the sun was beating down and it was so cold so i went into my house and saw a man walking down the street as he nor just like every other day he was enjoying life smiling laughing as every the kids down the street started to play then in the distance you could hear the deafening sound of the clicking I was so surprised. I didn't know what it was. I was in shock as I saw a red blob jump from the ceiling. It hit the man. It spit on him. I ran. I ran. Into, I ran inside my bathroom in horror, and all I could hear was the screams of the children and the men and women crying as Ugandan knuckles spit and yelled at the little children. Why are you running? Why? I can hear it too. They spit, and then you could hear the spitting as each man fell to the ground, and you could hear the you could hear the crash of their bodies, and you could even hear them being dragged away 
into some demonic house. I went to my window and saw the house is being burned and saw some some creature, some vile creature, at least the size of two houses, step into the step into my uh, eyesight. It was purple. They went around it and started clucking. They started spitting around and they started yelling, "My queen!" And then a man went up to them and tried to stop them, but he was met with this uh, a barrage of spit. And the sound of you got in knuckles saying spit on the non-believers. In the distance you could hear an alarm sound. As you could hear you could see at least fifteen penguins the size of my bathroom walk into my eyesight. Oh. They ran and tried to save the man before they were shot down with a spit. And as soon as the queen picked them up, picked one of the penguins up and ate him. I ran out of my house quickly, trying to escape, and I heard a deep growl saying, Why are you running? Why are you running? I tried to get out as fast as I can, but I couldn't. They grabbed my leg, and then all you could hear was the deafening sound of the air. Of the air. Of my surroundings. Just everything blacked out. Next thing I know, I was lying face down in the street, butt naked. Mm. I stood up and I found my clothes. And there I was, being surrounded by a bunch of newscasters. It's terrible. I still have nightmares. Well, I'll read a bedtime story for you. Thank you. I have to go now. I have to go. Right now, to Fortnite wins!